Tammy Bruce is a radio host and president of Independent Women's Voice, and she joins us tonight. Tammy, thanks so much for coming on. Hey, Tucker. So uh, par I, I think that there's a lot to criticize about Joe Biden. I think he's weird. I think this behavior is creepy. On the other hand, I don't want to live in a country where people are afraid to hug each other because I think hugging each other is a good thing. Yeah, sure. And then I also think the Democratic Party is appallingly hypocritical and power hungry. So I have all these conflicting emotions and I hope that you will sort out these stories for us. Well, I'll try, uh, because what a, a Joe Biden's doing, the average man, if he did it at work, would be fired. Okay. There is a difference between hugging somebody and we, we've all been through that. Right. And in, in Mr. Biden's case, uh, in the, the new case and also in the Flores case, uh, there was a restraint of someone physically. In, in Flores's case, he restrained her uh, by her shoulders. In other cases, he's re he restrains women by holding their jawline or, or their neck area. And Ms. Flores described him coming up behind her. Uh, 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 the, uh, the Washington Post said he placed his hands on her shoulders. He was restraining her. Uh, and then he moved in, to, and his face moved into her hair. It was a a, 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 an intimate action that you would normally reserve for loved ones, uh, a, a spouse or someone you, you know and, and you love. And then uh, after a while, he then slowly kissed the back of her head. That's not hugging someone. That's <laughs> no, very, that's, no, you've, that, you, you, you've really brought it into stark relief right. with that description. <laughs> and, and especially because you can also hug a man. Now, what yeah. we have never seen Joe Biden do is that very same thing to a man, because maybe he doesn't want to give the wrong impression or he doesn't want to be punched in the nose. But it, you, you, you usually, my, my advice to people is, have been in, in companies, if you wouldn't do it to a man, don't do it to a woman. That usually is your gauge if something's appropriate or not. Uh, and, and so in this particular case, of course we want to be able to have a demonstrative society. Uh, and this is, is not brain surgery. Uh, that if, if, and it's not about even your own intention. It's that why would you, do, if you would do something, if someone is recoiling, if you have to restrain them in order to be able to do it, if you're doing it from behind, uh, if you are, of course, this is what's fascinating with the Democratic Party. Uh, there are men who, whether it's Harvey Weinstein, which is an issue, of course, of rape uh, and, uh, and certain issues of just sexual harassment, perhaps in this case with Mr. Biden uh, and other issues with Mr. Fairfax, uh, is that these are men who claim to be the champions for women. Who right. claim to be the, you know, the facilitators like the Joe Biden of of uh, the Violence Against Women Act, and yet that's the excuse that their defenders use. It's like, look at what they've done for us, and that has kept women from feeling comfortable talking about the nature of what's happened to them. Uh, it's a, it's an interesting dynamic that we have to be aware of. No, I think that you just changed my mind on it completely. Right. Tammy, great to see you tonight. Thank, Thank you, you dear. That. Thanks for having me.